What are the Facebook commerce settings you need to do for Instagram and Facebook shopping to work properly? Many of you get rejected because of not doing these things. So in today's video, I'm here to share with you the things you need to do in order to fix your Instagram shopping errors or to get the Instagram and Facebook shopping feature successfully. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel, we talk about social media marketing for business and making more money online. So if you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. So let's begin with the settings that you need to do in your Facebook Commerce Manager to ensure approval for Facebook and Instagram shopping. And the first thing you need to do is go to business.facebook.com, go to Commerce, More Tools, Business Settings, and Business Info and fill out all your business information there with your address, with your legal business name, your business location, and also verify your business in Facebook if Facebook asks you to. It is not mandatory for all businesses, but for some, they do ask you to verify your business. So make sure that all that information is filled out there before you even apply for the Instagram shopping feature. The next thing you'll need to do is to verify your identity to be verified for ads or to be approved for Facebook ads. If your Facebook account will be restricted from ads, your chances will be really low at getting approved for this shopping feature. Because what Facebook wants is that you will also run ads when you have your shop enabled. So if your account is restricted for ads and you haven't verified your identity, then it will be less likely for you to be able to get this feature. So if they ask you from ads in your Facebook account to verify your identity, make sure to do it in less than 30 days so the time doesn't expire and you will be approved for ads. Next, two-factor authentication might need to be enabled for some businesses to be verified or for some businesses to have access to this feature. So you can go to security in your business settings and click to enable the two-factor authentication method for your admins or your business admins. And then it will lead you to a place where you can add your phone number and verify it by SMS or by installing a code generator app. The next thing you'll need to do to make sure you have the chance at getting approved for Instagram and Facebook shopping is to verify your website domain. Yes, you do need a website or a platform where you sell your product in order to be able to get this feature. And if you want to learn how to verify your Facebook domain step by step, I've included all that information in these videos right here where you can learn how to verify your domain using the HTML version, by installing a head code to your website, or by using the DNS text tracker method for your domain. The next step would be to create your catalog and add 10 items manually without Shopify and without integrating Wix or any other e-commerce platform to Facebook. The reason why I'm saying this is because you want the first products to be uploaded without error so Facebook accepts this feature for your account and reviews your commerce manager account and approves it for this feature because this is the best way that you can add the product title, description, price and website link without having any errors. After you'll get approved you'll be able to integrate your e-commerce platform and everything will go smoothly but before getting approved I suggest adding 10 items manually in your catalog by going to data sources, catalogs, create your catalog, choose your types of products and then click add items manually. If you've already integrated Shopify or another platform and your products are rejected, your commerce account is disabled, you can watch these videos right here to teach you what to do in those cases. The next thing you'll need to do is go do some settings in your commerce account from settings, general, and select your default country and language. From there, you can also click edit and add your email address for your commerce account. The next thing you'll need to do is to check that there are no issues in your commerce account before applying for this feature. So go to the overview of your commerce account and you will see see details if you have any errors or if you go to catalog and items or catalog and issues, you'll be able to see if something is wrong with your products, if your photos are not approved, if your titles are not approved and for titles and descriptions to be approved, make sure to write them in lowercase or capitalized case, but not all in uppercase. And if your products do get rejected, make sure to watch this video right here to learn what to do in that case and how to fix them. The next thing you'll need to do is go set up shipping and returns in your commerce account if you have the possibility. So for that, go to settings, go to shipping and add your shipping profile and then go to returns and add your returns link of your privacy policy, of your terms and conditions that people can find on your website to determine what your returns policies are. 
And the last thing I'm gonna mention that you need to do in order to be able to get the Instagram and Facebook shopping feature is to have an established business on both Instagram and Facebook. Facebook no longer lets you to just have a following on Instagram and zero likes on the Facebook page. They want you to take your Facebook page seriously as well. So before applying for this feature or before reapplying for this feature, make sure that you have enough following on your Instagram account, I recommend at least 500, and enough likes on your Facebook page, I recommend at least 150 200 likes and engagement and posting regularly for at least 30 days before applying obviously those followers and those likes need to be organic from your friends family or gained by creating ads but do not buy followers or likes because facebook catches on to that and they will not approve your account they will much rather you have a smaller following but authentic and real than you having tens of thousands of followers that are bought if you don't want to run ads on your Facebook page but still want to grow it organically, you can use this video right here and the methods I mentioned in it to grow a Facebook page for your business organically. And you can also watch this video on how to grow organically on Instagram as a complete beginner in order for you to be qualified for this feature. So there you go, these are the Facebook commerce account issues that you need to fix or settings that you need to do in order to get approved for the shopping feature. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can leave them in in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram at Lidar Incoming Success. If you need help with this feature, I can help you enable it. Just send me a message on Instagram or send me an email at lidiais at incomingsuccess.com. If you enjoyed these types of videos and want to see more on how to grow your online business with social media organically, make sure to like this video and click the subscribe button below for new videos weekly. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.